guys, Heidi the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. Today we are doing another redrawing of my son's art. My son drew up this cockroach looking character over here. He's got some brown spikes and things on him. Looks like he has some little T-Rex arms in front. He's a pretty cool character design and I think we can have a lot of fun with him. There's a lot of cool directions we can take this guy. In this video I've invited along the Cheese Wizards, an art group that I'm in. These guys are just incredible artists and I'm blown away every time that they submit a new piece of artwork. So without taking up too much time, let's jump in to do some concepts and see which one my son wants me to draw up. So this first concept I'm drawing up is kind of cool. He's kind of monstery. He's got some insect features like his arms are kind of insect-like and his legs a little bit. A little bit of wings and things coming off of him. Probably inspired by a cockroach. And I like that shape he has around his eye, so I want to replicate that. For the second one, I tried to keep the same head shape that my son had in his drawing, but then as I continued to draw this thing, I ended up giving him really weird long legs, and he ends up looking like a chicken. So this is kind of a chicken-y type character with big old chicken legs. For this third one, I was kind of going more dinosaur-y and more lizard type character. He's got his mouth open, and he's kind of making a loud scream or something with his head tilted upwards. And I think it looks kind of cool. It's a little weird with these little spiky arms, I'm trying to copy that and keep that consistent with my son's drawing. But I I think he might be fun. I think he might turn into something cool if he picks this one. For number four, I end up taking a more mechanical, robotic look on him and making him look like a big old bug mech, like a giant beetle monster or something. Maybe there's somebody inside driving it or something. And then for this last one, I'm going full bug mode. So I'm kind of mixing in some ant into him and some more beetle and trying to keep some of the same features from his original drawing and just going with that route. I think it looks kind of cool and I think he might make a cool monster. Now it's time to call in the boss, have him look him over and see which one calls out to him and which one he wants me to work on. I really like number one and two, and I like that number four is a robot. My favorite one is number one. Draw number one, Dad. <laughs> So the art director has spoken, number one has been chosen, which was my favorite too. I kind of rushed through the other ones, but let's jump in and flesh him out and see what he turns into. I was considering doing another sketch layer, but I decided to just jump in and go straight to line art with him. I think this is fleshed out enough, and I think I can kind of figure out how it's going to look as I go along and, and change things as the drawing progresses. I'm going to give him a couple flat teeth right here in the front, because he's not a total monster. He's got some flat teeth. He eats a salad here and there, maybe an apple, you know. He's not a complete carnivore. Or maybe he is, because he is 90% Sharpies. Sharpies up in here. And now I'm just finishing up this guy's head, and then I'm gonna move into the body, and I think the body is where I need to kind of do the most work. The most planned out, but now the body is just kind of all messy, so we'll see what happens with him. These arms definitely have a praying mantis vibe to them. Big old scythe type arms that'll reach out and snap you, or scratch you. Big old scyther hands or something. Scythe of the Pokemon, or scissors. Or I guess it's just scissor. It's not plural unless there's two of them. Yeah. Thickening lines up a little bit because I like that pop factor. Pop them out from the background, which there is no background, but I just like that pop. <laughs> Makes them look like a sticker. Adding a few more of these little wing things on here. I'm kind of translating some of these triangle shapes in his drawing to be these little wings. Little insect wings. I don't know if they'll make him fly because he's got a big old plump body, but they do something. I don't know. Scare away people. Blow them away. Gently glide his fat body down to a lower platform. I also took some artistic liberty and added another set of arms on here. It's a little pokies. I don't know if they just hold on to whatever he grabs with his bigger arms. They just hold him in tight so they can't get away as he munches it away. Head first, munches on them brains. He's a brain snatcher. This guy's a brain eater. He'll eat your brains! On my son's drawing, he has these little hairs on his legs, so I want to make sure I represent that too. And have that here in this creature as well. Now all that's left is drawing his backside. Yes, I've got to draw his buttocks. But that's okay. I'm just gonna mirror the other side and I'm gonna give myself a few guides here so I can make his wings roughly the same length. It's kind of convenient with Photoshop. You just drag down some little guides. Although you have to turn off snapping or it'll start giving straight lines that are basically just the same as the guides. Which I don't want. I want to draw freely. Stop telling me what to do. Stop giving me guidelines. I'm one of those that likes to break the rules just because there are some. Rebel without a cause. I'm just kidding. I'm not really a rule breaker. I'm just a dude. Just a dude that likes to draw and do really bad accents, apparently. I try. The only foreign places I've been to are Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Spain. I've never even been somewhere with a really strong accent. I mean, Spain has an accent, but it's Spanish. Pero yo hablo español también. Así que está bien. Y los de España hablan muy diferente que los de Puerto Rico. 
Puerto Rico. Rico. I can never roll my tongue with those R's. I'm actually 100% convinced that I passed Spanish in high school because I was a good drawer. See, I would draw on my papers all the time and my teacher appreciated my drawings. And on my final exam, all I did was I flipped it over and drew because I was really frustrated and I didn't feel like I knew anything. And I'm one of those that just kind of has to learn through doing, not really studying. So I learned Spanish by speaking Spanish and being out in Spanish countries and talking to people. So Spanish teacher, if you're out there watching, if you pass me just for my drawing, I appreciate you, but hey, I learned Spanish after all. I'm not a complete failure. She actually told me not to take Spanish the next year. <laughs> I got a D and she's like, please don't take Spanish again. I really appreciate you, Mrs. Heineman from Vernon Township High School in New Jersey. If you're out there, I appreciate you. So I'm just finishing this guy up now and then I will do a little review with a few more things done off camera because you know revealing and all that Now that my drawing is done, it's time to bring in the cheese wizards and see their fantastic art skills put to work. All of these guys are just amazing, so let's jump in and see what they did. That wraps up this episode of redrawing my son's art. Here are nine versions of the same character, the original by my son, and eight additionals. Pretty awesome outcomes, quite a diverse collection of characters. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and for hanging out with us today. If this is your first time on this channel, where you been? If you like this content, please consider subscribing and following along on this journey. Remember you too are a creator, so keep on creating no matter what skill level you're at. Invest in yourself. If art is a passion of yours, you're worth the time. This has been Hattie the Creator, and I'll catch you on the next video.